Before we leave, that looked good. how about a huge update for one of 2020's most celebrated games? Wait. Oh my god, this is it. This is FF7. Oh my god! FF7 Remake! Buckle up, baby! There ain't no getting off of this train! PS5. Oh my god. Huge update, they said. Oh shit. Buckle up, baby! What's it? What it? Barrett? What's happening? A touching reunion. Well, guys, your girl finally made oh! it to Midgar. Oh my god. Jesse. What the hell? We got new stuff? Is that Yuffie? Oh my god, it's Yuffie! Oh my god, it's Yuffie! What? Oh! <laughs> what? That Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. What? Members of Avalanche, we got this. Oh! Back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What? Who, took who's you? that? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonan Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? Yes! He will be okay though. The right? Tifa chapter. Well, of course he will. They're the ones who blew up the reactor. We got the Tifa chapter. We got the Tifa chapter. No, better not. This comes in between chapter four and five. You gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. We're getting it. Stop. We're getting it. We gotta help. Yuffie and Midgar spying. This is so much better. Oh my God! Look at her move. She's got the shuriken. Bruh. A new character too! Oh my god! Oh my god! The Moogle outfit? Come on! Come on, the Moogle outfit! This is PS5 version! Guys. Yes. This is this is just what I imagined. Oh there she is! Full redesign! Full redesign! There it is, Crystal. You were wanting it so bad. Got it. Whatever it is they're planning. She looks so good. What's coming to yeah, she looks so do, good. But I'm not your sister. She looks so good. Oh my god, what is it? Intergrade? Intergrade. No. Let the hunt begin. Deep ground. Deep ground's back. Oh shit. Deep ground's back. Deep, deep ground is back. That was vice. Oh shit. Oh shit, guys. Oh! Did you see that? Did you see that? Wait. It looks so much better. Holy shit. It looks so much better on PS5. Holy hell. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Ray tracing, baby. Look at the difference. I can't believe it. Deep Ground's bad. We got a lot to talk about. Some they're just Cerberus shit. <laughs> Oh God in heaven! Oh my God! Look at the lighting difference. Look at it. And we have a whole new chapter. Crystal, are you feeling the same thing I'm feeling? I'm very torn right now. I'm very torn. You definitely not need advice. Uh, let's 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 enjoy this, and we'll talk about it. Let's enjoy this, and we'll talk about it. Quality of life. Oh shit, okay. Prioritize displaying 4K graphics. Maintaining 60 FPS. Normal classic difficulty. Oh, so good. Loading times. New music. Actually, new music. That's. Oh, loading time is instant. Okay. Loading time literally instant. Camera mode! 
photo mode. Yes. Yeah, Genesis is in, Crystal. Genesis is in. How do you feel about that? <laughs> oh, shit. We're in for a ride, baby. No, photo mode is going to be so sick. New episode featuring Yuffie. All right, all right. Oh, come on. This is so cool. I'm in. I'm in. Just remember, Crystal. Just remember. If it's well written now. If the dialogue's good. It can be good. You see that? Do not give up hope. That's how ninjas do it. Yep. Oh, my God. Yuffie sounds great. Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. If you own a copy of PlayStation 4, upgrade upgrade for free carry over save data available for purchase after upgrading the ps5 version and then yuffie costs a little bit that's great you get the ps5 upgrade for free you pay for the the yuffie dlc that was the reveal of final fantasy 7 remake integrate coming to the wow. ps5 console later this year when? when 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 is it coming did they give and a date that's our show 6 10 oh no i gotta get a ps5 <laughs> see you next time we gotta get a ps5 guys Oh God! June tenth. <laughs> Holy yeah! Um, it would be so cool to have that Tifa chapter. So they're really clever because they mentioned this like a couple months ago in an interview. Like, yeah, we were gonna do this Tifa chapter um, after Cloud Falls, and we we're gonna have it so you can see Tifa, you can see Jesse when they're like uh, healing and stuff. So the fact that they put that in is actually pretty funny. They dropped it as if, eh, we had to drop it, we had to cut it, and they put it back in. That's pretty cool. But look at this. Okay, one thing I'm noticing right here is look at the glow in his eyes, man. I think this is because of ray tracing. Look at the glow. I don't think it glowed like that in the original version on PS4. Yeah, Jesse, it's going to be great, man. Think about it. More Jesse, more Biggs, more Wedge. But guys, this is so good from a writing perspective, right? Now we get, not only did we get a main character, Yuffie, earlier into the story, but... They did what I said. Did you guys hear it? They actually did what I said. Listen to what she says. Remember, I was like, dude, they gotta, if they're not gonna age Yuffie up, which I think they have anyway here, they gotta at least make her like a special forces, like high powered official government agent. Not just, I'm a whiny kid and I'm gonna go steal people's shit. Like that, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Now look, they're actually making Yuffie into a real character. Look, look at listen to what she says. High rank, like a like a special forces operative from the Wutai government. That's cool, and it actually makes sense. Not like I'm a I'm an annoying kid. And I'm gonna go cause mischief. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. This is awesome. Yeah, her dad's the head of the country, and she's got a Moogle cloak. Come on, guys, Moogle cloak. Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wu-Tai government. Elite Special Forces First Soldier? Where, where did this come from? Where did this come from? Oh my god, what is this? Did they legit just drop this randomly? Uh, Crystal, what is going on? First Soldier? Oh my god, alright. Alright, everybody. 30 years? 30 years? Oh my god, 30 years? Oh my god, all right, I don't know what's happening. Let's just watch, let's just watch. Oh, President Shinra. No. Okay, 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 my prediction for this is we're gonna get an actual, this is this is very interesting, guys. We're gonna get an actual meaningful background. If, if we're doing deep ground, if we're doing deep ground, if we're doing all that nonsense, let's get an actually well-told background. Sephiroth better be playable, let's see. Shinra form soldier. Oh my god, what is this? Battle Royale. Okay, it's a it's a, it's a mobile game. Join the fray, lay waste to your foes, and climb the ranks. Okay. It's a battle royale of soldiers. Wow. Please don't get your hopes up. Okay, so it's Final Fantasy Fortnite. I will curb my enthusiasm. Final Fantasy Fortnite. I will play it. Considering I played Fortnite for five minutes, I have to play Final Fantasy Fortnite. Wow, headshot. Okay, the only question is... Yeah, it's Final Fantasy Fortnite. The only question is... Okay, with summons? That's kind of hype. Do we get story with it? Do we get story with it? Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. It's kind of a relief. 
it's kind of a relief just because I got a little worried with more uh, my enthusiasm just disintegrated. Yes, yes, yes. Final Fantasy VII, the first soldier. Yeah. Listen, I'm a little bit relieved because it's not going to be that relevant, if that makes sense. It's not going to be that relevant. The trailers in Discord. Thank you so much, Daladin. Like, even though I was excited there, I had this little pang of like, oh, are we going to get like more crazy Genesis stuff? It's just a fun game. For Crisis, is it actually, dude, is it actually FF7? Hold for a remake. Stop. What? They actually did it. They did it. How the people wanted. Stop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They actually put the pre-rendered backgrounds? Oh, man. Stop. I think the art style looks really stupid. But listen, listen. They did a... Uh, it's, it's Final Fantasy 15 pocket version, right? It's Final Fantasy 15 pocket version. Yeah. Nostalgic visual twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Pre-rendered backgrounds. Oh, that's cool. Look at the art. Yeah, it's, it's pocket version. Pocket edition, yeah, excuse me. Three hundred backgrounds are back. Oh my god, dude, that... I really like the artwork. Look at the Barrett drawing. Oh, those are cool drawings, man. Feels like something between FF4 and DS. Yeah. Will I play it? Eh, probably not. Unless you guys want to watch me play it or something. But yeah, it's the same pre backgrounds. Listen. It's kind of cool because people will mod this to high hell, hopefully. People mod this and put in like really cool looking character models and uh, the voiceovers and stuff, and we can one day have it. But the reason I'm saying that is look at the pre rendered backgrounds. They've actually made them widescreen and redrawn them in high resolution. Come on. Look, it's seventh heaven. You know, this is cool. We, we get to see uh, the old pre rendered backgrounds. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Look at Tifa. Ah. Come on, it's kind of cool. Do, 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 do. Come on. Yep, he's saying the same lines of the original. Yep, now the purists get their game too. The character portraits look cool. Listen, my only thing with this is, I wish, and this is why I'm excited for like mods possibly, I want you to imagine this game, but just with... Uh, just with the character models from the remake and not these like weird cartoony Barrett with like, you know, massive upper body and stuff. Like, imagine if it looked real, we would actually have FF7 pre rendered. This is PS 1.5. <laughs> it's kind of cool, man. But hey, honestly, I, I, I know me and Crystal were really nervous about, uh, oh, wait, what? Okay, so the, the battle system has the good models. Oh, this is weird, man. Yeah, the battle system has the good graphics. Okay, very interesting. I guess it's just like FF7. It's just like the original. The battle has... Oh, you know it, Crystal. They'll really make the whole compilation. No. Wait, what? Entire compilation of FF7 and more. What? Oh, this is crazy. Oh, this is crazy. What? Yep, there's Crisis Core. Holy hell. That's Crisis Core. Ah. 2022. Okay, so we'll get all the compilation remade in 2022. I don't want it. Gocked. Oh, he's coming. He's coming, Crystal. I'll take it. We're going to play Advent Children. Yeah, we're going to play Advent Children. You know that. Wait, it legit said Advent Children, didn't it? Didn't it? Advent Children. We're going to play Advent Children. Man, I will say the one thing. I am so disappointed about that. I am so disappointed. Why aren't the, the characters, when you're walking around, just, just look like they do in the battles? That would have been so good. I, I would be, like, freaking out right now if they did that. Like, why make them look all crazy and messed up looking, and then the battle, they look exactly like the remake? Why not just have their character models in the thing? Because this is so cool. They'll finally make Dirge decent. Eh, I wouldn't go that far, but you never know. Okay, so the one thing is, I don't think there's voice acting in this. 
I don't think there's voice acting in this. But my only thing is like this, I need to take a shower. <laughs> like this to me looks dumb. Like that looks dumb, right? Because this scene already exists and it looks awesome. Like this scene exists in CG and you got Zach like swiping people around with proper anatomy. This is a little weird to me. So all I can say is I hope people mod this to hell and just put in the battle versions of these characters. This is content, yeah. This is content. And the other thing I will say, um, I know me and Crystal were a little freaked out about Ever Crisis First Soldier. I think we should relax now because the only fear with that stuff is that they take like a secondary team and make lower quality canon, like super canonized stuff, right? This is just a fun, this is a couple of fun stuff. It's a couple of fun things. Probably not going to weigh in that much on anything as far as like the remake, which is, you know, the remake is the official everything moving forward. This is kind of like a fun thing for the fans. I'm worried though about remake with this. How so, Crystal? But you know what I mean? This is kind of like a fun thing for the fans, redoing the compilation. And then there's a remake, which has like the best graphics and stuff. Oh no, not canon. I'm taking what I'm given. Yeah, yeah, honestly, this looks really cool. And I probably will have to play this now. Like, dude, we get to play Advent Children. Again, if it looked like it does here inside the battles, I would be really pumped about that. Same crystal that will they will delay it that crap probably. Oh, I, I wouldn't worry about delay. This is absolutely not the same teams. No way in hell the same teams. Look at the, look at these graphics. It's a totally different team. You got the mobile division. You got all, all kinds of other people working on this. So don't worry about that. Distract? I really don't think so. Just because literally separate divisions. Like they're, I believe they're either on separate floors of the same building or a totally different building. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Pretty charming visual. Yeah, I have to say I'm not for the visual. I'm not for it because it looks like a PS2 game or something like that. The only reason I'm saying this so staunchly is you would you would usually have this visual for technological limitations like yeah sorry we can't make the the official models look good so we went, so we went with a fun cartoon thing but in the battles they look like this look this is the same game this is the same freaking game like that's that's the game that's the mobile game clap so if they had those in the main thing i would just be overjoyed plus it's really weird like why do we have two totally different aesthetics down to like a, an anatomical uh, design choice in the same game. That's kind of weird. It's very, you know, PS1, I guess. I love how they're going all in level seven. I mean, guys, you got to say they are going all in 100%. I would say it is more of a chosen art style. Yes, it is a chosen art style. It's obviously a choice. I just think it's a little weird. And it just makes me a little too excited to see the main models and then see the Legos. I don't know. Zaladin says, I don't mind it. Mobile game, battery will be dead after 30 minutes. Hell yeah. Hear me out, hear me out. All right, what has Aladdin got to say? Let's keep watching. I can't believe we're gonna play Advent Children. That is very interesting. The entire compilation of FF7 and more. So we're looking at OG, Advent Children, before, okay, listen. Before Crisis, that's pretty cool. I have never even seen Before Crisis because it's a freaking flip phone game. I don't think anybody's ever seen it except for like Japanese people. This isn't 100%. This is 297. Yeah. I mean, guys, we can't not be grateful for this, though, right? We can't not be grateful. My only point is with all of the effort they put into this and the assets already existing, why don't they just literally copy paste the same models into it that are already there in the next screen? This promotion of F7 storyline is wild. It is. With all this promotion, that may mean we will get a brand new story of FF7. Yeah. FF10 3 is back on the table. Yeah. You know what, Crystal? You are 100% right. This is crazy. This is this is crazy levels of like uh, of dropping content. So Crystal's right. We now have new explorable areas in Midgar. I say maybe we see like what is it? Sector two we haven't seen on the on the uh, the underside. Sector one, sector four. There's a lot of options. So let's see. We gotta help. Yeah, but this guy looks cool. Yeah, new area there. A lot of cool movement options with her as we expected, right? Yeah, really cool battle system. He threw her. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. This is really big. Yeah, I want you guys to notice something here. Look what's happening. Did anybody catch this? This is huge. He is doing a 
a, a, a co-op attack with her. What's what I'm looking for? Like like a like a joint a team up attack, right? This is new, so this will be added to at least part two with like Cloud and stuff. This is exciting. See, he's throwing Yuffie. Very exciting. So that's a new combat thing. So known. Yep. So known. Yep. That's that handsome guy you guys like. That's crazy, look at that. Something out of Blaz Blue. Alright, Nona. I can see that. I love how he called her boss, by the way. And there she is. Very Advent Children. That shot. Whatever it is they're planning, you're better off out of it. That guy looks like a new. Let's get the close up. There she is. She looks great. That's a great design. Don't you guys agree? Straight up fighting game character, yeah. <laughs> I think she looks good. It looks exactly like the old one, but like we have some cool kind of, uh, we have some cool kind of like leather pieces here, and then to the metal, it just looks like a little bit more practical, kind of like they did, uh, kind of like they did with Cloud and everybody in Tifa, like a little bit more. How would this actually function, even if it was like highly stylized and cool? How would it actually work on the human body? So look, we've got kind of this like cool um, foam padding over here on the armor. A couple layers of this with leather under that with the strap. Like, it just makes more sense. But it looks exactly like the old design. I think it's great. Did she button on her shorts? Oh, yeah, we got to see. Did she button it? <gasps> no, she did not. Thank goodness, Crystal. She did not button the shorts. Confirmed. Confirmed right here. It is unbuttoned. We are good. We are good to go. It's probably just broken. She does a lot of special ops and everything. <laughs> Hey, what's the he did in Dirge of Cerberus? Like, it actually makes a little bit more sense. The coat redesign is cool. That is literally the VR battle. Yeah, this is this is definitely a VR battle. So the only question is, did they include him as like a fun VR battle that you'll fight with Cloud and everybody? That actually might be the case, guys. Um, you know what? You know what, Crystal? I think that's it. S5, June 10th. We're including a brand new episode, play as Ninja Yuffie Kisaragi and infiltrate Shinra Corporation to steal a powerful materia. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, oh, look at the artwork. Look at the artwork. That's incredible. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this, guys. Yeah, that's great. I am all for this. I have a reason to get a PS5. Oh, yeah. This is it, Key Queen. <laughs> For sure. What's up, Disciple? Hey, Disciple, long time no see. How you doing? What is going on, Disciple? Aaliyah's actually here, Disciple. Common Rider says, time to earn soldier honor. Become soldier. First class. <laughs> I don't know why I started reading that in Cloud's voice, but... They talk about uh, FF7 night as well as play. Which I'm sure we're all fine with. Oh. It seems like you battle Vice in the DLC. Why did you choose that character? Since the strongest character, Sephiroth, is already in the game, we wanted to have another formidable boss aside from Sephiroth, so we chose Vice. I personally am curious as to how a battle would play out for the first time with Cloud versus Vice. In fact, I even asked the team to add Vice as a secret boss ever since the PS4 version. Okay! Let's keep reading, but I'm I'm feeling more and more like this is just a fun battle. Cloud! Notice he said Cloud. Notice he said Cloud, guys. Not Yuffie. Yuffie and Cloud will absolutely not be interacting in this DLC. So that's something to consider here. That's something to consider. Alright, let's read the next part. You designed the original Vice in Dirge of Cerberus but he was half naked in that game. It seems he's wearing clothes in this one. <laughs> Since he's sort of like a secret boss. You see, he's a secret boss, I'm telling you. This is really promising. I wanted to present him with a sense of richness to it, so I gave him something to wear on top, okay? It seems like the battle with Vice is done in Shinra's battle simulator, but will he be present in other parts of the story as well? What will his battle be like? In regards to details about Vice, all I can say is please wait for more, of course. <laughs> please be excited. Which is fine. We don't need to know everything. Let us let us enjoy the art, you know. Uh, there will be new boss character in the DLC, but is that character going to be different than Vice, such as another character from compilation? 
The new boss in the Yuffie DLC is different. As for who else, please wait for more info. Okay. So who knows, man? It could be anybody. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Crystal, for that. This stream getting getting juicier by the hour, man. 